self-portrait with cropped hair was painted by Frida Kahlo in 1940, shortly after the divorce of her ex-husband, Diego Rivera. Their marriage was a tumultuous 11 years, and this painting is a symbol of her newly found independence as a single woman. Frida was known for painting self-portraits, and in fact, 55 of her 200 paintings were self-portraits. She once said, I paint self-portraits because I'm so often alone, because I'm the subject I know best. She was also a surrealist painter, even though she did not consider herself to be one. Her self-portraits look to be very direct and honest appraisals. She paints with the force of personality and style that is similar to traditional Mexican art forms, as well as the image juxtapositions employed by surrealists. Personal isolation is an occurring theme in Frida's works. Self-portrait with cropped hair shows this, as well as violence of separation and newfound autonomy. What is most striking about this painting is the hair that is thrown all around her. Long hair was very important to her husband. Frida took that and created this message of newly found independence with her short hair. She was no longer with her hair, which was Diego's love, and therefore no longer with Diego. Hair is the clear statement piece of this painting. She holds a piece of hair in her left hand as a sign of sacrifice. This is how she wants us to know what she's done to herself for her independence. The hair in the background is severed and discarded, unwanted by Frida. She leaves another strand wrapped around her chair to show she's leaving her mark in that room. She's holding the scissors delicately as if she just cut her hair almost immediately before our viewing. This aspect of letting go of her long hair, cherished by Diego, is absorbed by the lyrics at the top of the painting, which translate to, See, if I loved you, it was for your hair. Now you're bald, and I don't love you anymore. Frida also loses her femininity in this piece by wearing a suit, which most notably appears to be Diego's. The suit's very large on her, and Diego was three times heavier and a foot larger than her. She wears a crimson red undershirt, which symbolizes the red color of her heart and how she's hiding it. Her feet also sit in a crooked man stance. She did keep a part of her femininity, however, with her earrings, heels, blush, and red lips. A small and subtle way to express her desire for freedom and independence of a man, but at the same time expresses the sadness and loss of divorce as a woman. This painting is a far cry from some of her more feminine works, where she wears Mexican Tijuana dresses in bright, bold colors. Space also plays an important role. She appears to shrink into the empty space in which she is in. In contrast to other self-portraits, she would fill up her canvas with boldness and colorful expressions. Here, she seems to purposefully minimize herself in a portrait of gravity and sadness. The yellow chair is the only bright spot in the painting, where she sits upright. The space looks to be somewhere that is empty and untouched, an old carpet and old walls, which is not welcoming and looks ready to be torn down. The textures of this piece appear to juxtapose. Her suit's very wrinkly, as if she did not care to make it clean and tailored. This ties into the scene around her. On the other hand, the wall is soft, which contradicts the scene and her stern look. The rug also appears to get darker in the back and lighter where she is sitting, which gives me a vision that the room could be larger in the back. There are also reddish stains on the wall, as if it's blood, and cutting her hair was a crime that she committed. The lyrics enhance the softness of the wall, as they're almost calming to look at, but what they truly stand for is a strong message against Diego. Overall, this painting is a portrait of her newly found independence as a single woman.